Hello everyone, no chocolate birds here for another video review to Serie F Terry's Chocolate Orange Dark. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to see. <laughs> I was just trying to see there. Um, oh, there it is. It does, does say on the thing there. Yes, there we go. Yeah. So basically, um, it's Terry's Chocolate Orange, but with dark chocolate. So there we go. Yeah, I think that's probably not surprising anyone. <laughs> we squashed this box, unfortunately. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe in the checkout or something like that on the bags on the way home. But um, what does it say? Famously unsquare since some time. 1932. Deliciously unsquare since 1932. So I've been going for quite some time now, I didn't quite realise that. I think I did say it in my other review of the regular chocolate orange, but um, yeah. So there we go, so interesting. So made with real orange oil, it says as well. So I'm not sure how much orange oil is in there. And I don't think it... What does it say? There's not many ingredients in here, which is quite good. And the official description is dark chocolate flavoured with real orange oil. So cocoa size 43% minimum. Make it say nuts and wheat. Skim milk powder. Um, so it does say orange oil in it, but it doesn't say how much, so, you know, it could be one drop of orange oil for all we know. <laughs> yeah, so we're not sure about that, are we? So, um, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Um, we'll, have, we'll have to assume that, um, you know, standards and things like this suggest that in order to say something like that, there has to be a proportionate amount of it. <laughs> but, but who knows? I don't know. It doesn't say, so... Okay, so there we are. Um, yeah, so I don't think Terry's owned by Mondelez anymore, which is good. I think they were for a time. Um, Andrew Winston in the comments has been informing me that they've now been bought out, which is good. And the address on the side doesn't have any indication that it's a Mondelez address either, so that's good. Mondelez, so as you don't know, are the people who own Milko and uh, Big. I think they own lots of companies now. And um, basically, for better or worse, they've streamlined lots of companies and they all produce the same chocolate. So Cadbury's and Milka generally share lots of the same products. Cadbury's don't really do any unique products anymore, anything new. Um, kind of shared across the line now. You know, they tend to always do Dime or Dame, however you want to pronounce it, and um, Oreo products, you know, things like this. They share across the Milka brand as well. So basically just repackaged as, uh, as Cadbury stuff, pretty much. I mean, I guess they use Cadbury's recipes and things, but mm, for the most part. Anyway, so yeah, so this um, so this is the 157 gram um, chocolate orange. Um, it used to be 175 grams a few years back. I'm not sure when it was. Maybe I don't know if it's 15 years or five years or some some points in the past. Anyway, it was a lot bigger. And what they did was they um, they reduced the weight by making them sort of have this lip on the inside. So there's uh, so they don't so you can see they do. I mean they do. In fairness to them, they do show it on the on the thing. But basically, they used to sort of be. Um, segments that didn't have this like lip effect here so there's so there's air in between the chocolate slices now where they didn't used to be um, and to be fair though they are still very big you know they are still it's a big thing and as you probably guessed by now is it's essentially a wrapped in um, orange wrapper to make to look like an orange you know I mean obviously not this to your imagination here I mean this uh, this bit isn't on the actual chocolate itself or the wrapper even this little green bit but um yeah I don't know what the sparkle bits are. I think I said this in the last one. It seems to imply that it's like fizzy, fizzy pop or something, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not really sure why they've done that. But I mean, on, on Tango or Fanta or something, they have that kind of thing going on. But I don't know why they'd want it on this chocolate orange. Maybe if they had exploding candy in it, which some of the Terry's chocolate oranges do, that would make sense. But uh, this one doesn't have it. So yeah, so obviously it's got the red wrapper as well. It's blue normally. Um, red for dark chocolate, blue for milk chocolate. So I quite like that. Yeah. I think it looks quite nice, really. It's quite a nice wrapper. As I say, it doesn't hide the fact it's got the uh, the lip on the segments anymore. Well, I don't know if it ever did hide it, really, but it's, you know, you can tell. But they still look nice, I think. As I say, they're still pretty big, um, to be fair on them. Obviously, it's just the fact that, you know, the charge is the same, if not more, for a smaller weightage. So that's the only issue. Okay. Um, I think there's too much more to say. Super vegetarians, it says, I think. Yes. Um... Yeah, I used to quite like uh, these back in the day. I mean, I don't have them as much as I used to, but um, yeah, very nice. I mean, you used to have a good advertisement campaign with a, with a British comedian called um, Dawn French. She used to say, they're not Terry's, they're mine. And they're famous as well for needing uh, to be whacked on the top with, um, well, it doesn't have to be a rolling pin. It can be anything, but <laughs> basically, because all, all of it's a solid piece to start with, pretty much. Might have sort of broken apart a bit in transit, but um it's all different segments, as I say, that make up the orange. And uh, in order to break it, you need to give it a tap on top. We can whack it. I did whack the uh, milk chocolate one when I reviewed that. But I don't I think I was a bit too vigorous with it. So <laughs> a gentle whack this. I might open it before I whack it as well this time as well. Okay, speaking of opening then, I think we should, uh, yeah, give it a taste.
Give it a taste. Give it an open. We'll give it a taste and an open, but we'll open it first. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it's going to a cool, dry place. Okay. Let's give it an open. But as I say, I do quite like the top as well. This, uh, yeah, quite like the look of that as well. But, mm. Okay. Let's do it. Let's give it an open. <laughs> Right, okay, well, let's give this an open then. Hopefully I'm straight on the camera. I'm sorry if I'm not, but um, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> One reason or another. Anyway, so let's give it an open. So it's, uh, there's like a sort of, there was a sort of open here tab. Uh, you can see that. Uh, but obviously it's not, uh, it's still sort of glued at the top. So even though I've kind of opened it there, <coughs> you can see it's not, uh, yeah, it's still not opening. So it's, which makes sense. There's obviously two glue spots as well. So so you do have to tear it a bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay, there we are. And then it has a sort of, a sort of clamshell affair going on. And um, this sort of plastic outer covering. And here's the orange itself. Yeah, it looks very, uh, I think you'd say it looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, I know it's not, you know, it's clearly not an orange, but uh, I think it does give the effect pretty well. Uh, it's got the old uh, Terry's logo on the top. So it's chocolate orange logo even. It's flat at the bottom. It's that sort of earth shape where it's not a perfect sphere. I can't really, I, feel, I should have checked some time. Oblique spheroid or something? I can't remember what this way. <laughs> there's, a, there's a real name for it somewhere where it's um, a sphere that's flattened at the tops, the poles. Okay, so yeah, really nice. So you can see um, how the, the wrapper's sort of, um, sort of uh, taken on the, uh, the segment shape as well. You can see it's that shape on there. So it's, uh, I don't know how it's, how it's done that, but the the ripples or the, yeah, I don't know what you call those, but um, all these here seem to go in line with the segments, so yeah, very nice. So I'll give it an open, I will open it at the top. So this is made of real orange oil again, so I'm making a big deal of that. So there you go, so as you pull it open, it sort of peels away, so which is quite nice. So as I say, I'll just do this like this so you can see what it looks like before it's split, because last time I did split it before I opened it and uh, made it difficult to show it off. So yeah, you can see it looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. You can see all the segments. So it's all stuck together. Obviously if I dropped it, it would split. But it's not stuck at the top. So it's like a sort of puckered effect there. But it's uh, at the bottom, it's sealed together. So obviously they like to seal it with a little bit of chocolate at the bottom. It does um, it does seat down into it as well, so you get like a bit of a, a bit of a column in the middle, which is quite nice. Hmm. And you can see the orange peel effect as well on the side. It's really nice. It smells... It's a nice smell to a nice dark chocolate and obviously orange smell. It does smell very nice actually. Mm. Yeah. So you could just, I think you could easily just uh, separate this to be honest with you. And you can see as well some of the segments, you know, they clearly, uh, yeah, some of them, one, this one here has been indented for instance. <laughs> so obviously were separate then they've been stuck together um, with the chocolate at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So this one here is a bit moved in a bit. Okay, so there we go. So, yes, I'll pop it back in. So, I'm going to give it a bit of a delicate tap on the top. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, okay. Let's give it a go. So, wrap is a bit in the way. Normally, you would do it, as I say, sort of with it still sealed. Maybe I should do it still sealed slightly. Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to give it a bit of a tap. Okay, so I've tapped it there, and you can see just with that little tap. Hopefully, you can see. Can you see? <laughs> It's all come apart a bit, so yeah, it's all separated out, so I think you can see that, hopefully. So just with a little tap, some of them stayed intact, of course, but if you whacked it any harder, you'd start smashing it to pieces. So here we go, so here's, a, here's an actual segment. So it just takes a little whack. It's very nice, doesn't it? So you can see the orange effect there. It's got the lip here, of course. Yeah, so there's a lip there, you can see. Um, yeah, so there's some empty space there, but it's a nice shape and size. I mean, it's still pretty big. Um, but nothing on one side. Totally blank on one side. So a bit of a shame. So yeah. So what does it say then? Um, so we've got calorie wise. So the whole thing is 157 grams. So we've got per four segments, 31.4 grams, 164 calories, 9.3 grams of fat, 5.9 of which are saturates. So it's per four segments. I think that's probably a fifth of it really. So um, let's. See. Yeah, 
<laughs> so it's difficult to say. Let's take the whole thing out anyway. So we'll look. I think it doesn't really matter what order the, sh the segments are in, to be honest with you. Um, I always like to try and keep it in order. But there we go. It's all it's all onto pot. So you can see that column of chocolate down the middle there. It's obviously dripped in to make it stick together. It doesn't go all the way to the top. Yes, nice to eat that bit. Okay, so in this bit here, there's uh, there's seven segments there. Let's do it by another seven segments. Mm, this is six. Okay, well, don't know why I did that really. We'll divide into four. <laughs> it's divided into four. It makes more sense. Uh, okay. Four, four, four. And these are, this is eight in here. So eight, 16, 20. So there's 20 segments. Yes, yeah, so it is a fifth, isn't it? Four segments. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so it is a fifth, like we said. So a fifth of them, four segments. Is your 162 calories, 9.3 grams of fat, 5.9, which is saturates. So it implies obviously, so that's a fifth. Um, yeah, so you times about 10 and half it, and you've got the whole thing. So yeah, so 860 calories, I believe. Yeah, 810 calories rather. <clears throat> 810 calories in the whole thing. Uh, Yep. Yeah, so 810 calories in the whole thing. So 1,620 calories and halved it. Um, that's the fifth. So we times it by 10 and halved it to so get that fifth. Um, yeah, so that should be right. And then uh, 90, so just in, if you times by 10, uh, 93 uh, grams of fat, but then we half it. So that's like 45, 46 and a half. 46 and a half grams of fat. And then again, 59 grams of saturated fat, so we half that again. So that's about uh, 29 and a half, isn't it? 29.5 of which is saturates. So it's 810 calories for the whole thing. Uh, 46 <laughs> and a half grams of fat. Yep. And then 29 and a half of which are saturated. Yep. So, yes, I don't know why I worked those out live. I should just put a caption on it, but I'm quite sure that's right. So, um, you know, <laughs> if I put a caption on, I assume it's right. So 810 calories for the whole thing. Um, 46 and a half grams of fat, 46.5 grams of fat. 29.5 uh, of which are saturates. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so if that's wrong, I'll have put a caption on If I haven't, it'll be right. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Yes, yeah, so it looks very nice, doesn't it? I, I do I say like the look of this. That's very nice. I think that's a really nice looking segment. Nice skin rind sort of effect on the back. The only shame is that there's nothing on the other side. And uh, so it does mean when you, you've got it like this, um, you know, it's, you've, you know, you do lose the effect on this side, which is a shame. So the orange peel effect is there. And it's not quite smooth on the outside because of the way it's put together. Obviously each segment's in separately, made separately and stuck together, but it still looks good. But obviously like that's a bit of a shame. Yes, there we go. Um, yeah, and you can see as well. Obviously, if they did, do <laughs> the thing is, if they did make the uh, the image on the other side, well, it'd be quite thin, and also it'd be it'd be even lighter, wouldn't it? Because it wouldn't be flat, so they made it symmetrical either side. But you can see that there would be um, an air pocket between the segments now as well, where they didn't used to be. So when you join these together, there's a bit of an air pocket in between those. Okay, that's great. So let's give it a quick measure then. So, um, so sort of, I'll measure down the, down the straight line of the segment. Yes, yeah, so this is from the edge to the edge of the straight line. It's about five and a half centimeters. Yep, and then from the uh, middle to the outside edge, about three centimeters, and the width in the middle, about point nine centimeters, maybe just about one centimeter. So there we go. All right, so that was, uh, that was the measurement along the straight line here. So it wasn't, uh, you know, along the bulges or anything like that. Um, okay, I think we should give it a taste. Smells nice, looks nice. Let's do it. <laughs> right, everyone, okay, so let's uh, give this a taste then. So we've got one of the segments here. Um, I didn't probably say what each individual 
segment was. We did give you per four segments. Yeah, so it's about 40 point, yeah, 40 and a half calories per per segment. So 40, 12, 16, yeah. So yeah, 40 and a half calories. And then around uh, 2.3 maybe, 2.3 and a half, so like 2.3 grams of fat in each one, and then roughly um, one and a half of which is saturates. Yeah, so there we go. So 40 calories, <laughs> 2.3 grams of fat, 1.5 of which is saturates, pretty roughly, roughly. Okay, let's give it a taste then, so let's do it. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So it's um, obviously a dark chocolate. The only taste is quite subtle, I think. It's because it's probably because it's quite strong, a rich dark chocolate. You can clearly see when you bit into it though this this lip, the effect the lip has. Just how much you're losing there, because you can see how uh, thin the wedge is. Yeah, and then the the lip there is quite uh, quite prominent, so you can see you're losing quite a lot of chocolate per segment, really. But they're still pretty big segments. Hmm. Yeah, I would say the orange is quite subtle in this because the, the dark chocolate is so rich. Hmm. It's really rich, you know, it's um yeah. So the orange is lost, I think, in a bit in the dark chocolate. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm, I think that's the problem with it really. It's still there the dark uh, the orange flavour, but it's um it is rather lost because of this dark chocolate being so strong. I say well it's not a strong, strong dark chocolate, but being obviously stronger than the milk chocolate, um it means that the orange flavour is, is, is harder to detect. It's still there of course, but it's a problem. Now just for the sake of it, I'm gonna got a cup of coffee here, I'm gonna dip. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but why not? Hmm. Hmm. It's nice to do that. <laughs> you may add anything to the flavour, doesn't bring any flavour out of it particularly, but um, mm. it's nice to do. <laughs> but yeah, um, mm. yeah. I mean, so overall, it's okay. I think it's a bit disappointing by the fact that the orange chocolate, you know, the orange flavouring is so hard to taste because of the dark chocolate. It's possibly what you'd expect. So it's going to be quite subtle there. Um, to the point now, though, where I can't really even taste it, you know, I can't taste the orange flavour at all. Hmm. Yeah, it's very subtle, it's hard to, I see, because I've had a few slices now. A few segments, um, it's very difficult to even taste the orange flavouring anymore. Hmm. So. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice though. Dark chocolate's nice. Lovely shape and lovely novelty, lovely novel shape of it, and um, a good treat for someone as well. A nice present, really. Um, sort of a stocking filler at Christmas, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, overall, it's nice. It's just. I think just the fact it suffers by the fact that the orange flavouring isn't strong enough to compete with the dark chocolate, I don't think. So after a couple of segments, you can barely even taste the orange flavouring at all. It seems to have just disappeared because your mouth's still got the dark chocolate flavouring. So of course, obviously, you're probably not meant to eat the whole orange at once, but you know, maybe have a couple of segments. And I think it's, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try just, uh, I know this is coffee, so it's obviously got its own problems, but let's, uh, hmm. So if that's gonna cleanse the palate to any, but um, obviously it's gonna probably replace it with a coffee flavour. <laughs> um, let's give another one a taste. Hmm. It's possible to taste it a bit better now. Hmm. Hmm. But even on your first taste, the orange flavour is very, very subtle. Very pushed back because of that dark chocolate flavour. So, hmm. That's just the way it is, I think. But it's still nice. Still good. I think if you're a dark chocolate fan, obviously you're going to love this. Especially if you love or um, orange flavouring as well. <laughs> or chocolate orange and things like this. Um, hmm. If you don't like dark chocolate, this won't change your mind because it is the predominant flavour. The orange part is very much pushed to the side. Um, 
So if you don't like dark chocolate, then this isn't for you really. But if you do, it's a nice treat. It's very lovely as well. I think it's disappointing though that the orange is just too weak to compete with the, the dark chocolate. But, you know, you probably might not be too disappointed if you like dark chocolate because obviously you've still got the dark chocolate to fall back on. But I think you'd probably be wanting a bit more orange flavour in here. But who knows, it's a difficult balance to find, isn't it? Because obviously you don't want to make it too orangey. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think a bit more could have been done really to make it a bit, have a stand out a bit more, I think. So yeah, I'm going to say, hmm, very nice, looks great. I love the novelty. I love all the smashing of it and, uh, you know, to make it separate and all the different segments. I love the way it looks. It's a shame that they're smaller than they used to be, but I still think they're a good size and they do look quite nice. Um, so if you didn't know that already, you know, you probably wouldn't think anything of it. Well, of course, it's just the way it goes, isn't it? You know, you do know, so you, you will make something of it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll say I do like the uh, the little addition of that chocolate thing, the chocolate where they stick it together, that chocolate melt drip down the middle. You can even see the way the segments are sort of separated at the top. Um, yeah, where well, it's not quite reached all the way down. Yeah, so, hmm. But, you know, as I say, I think overall the taste is a bit slightly disappointing. Um, I still think it's really good, though. Struggling, you know, it's, it's probably... I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5, but I think it's probably a low 4, high 3.5, I think. So I might change my mind when I come to do the um, do the editing and the captions later. But for the moment, I'm going to say 4 out of 5. Um, I say, it looks really good. It's a great novelty. Lovely gift for someone. A great treat. Um, just let down by the fact that the orange just isn't strong enough to compete with the dark chocolate. But I think, so really, they needed to... What, they, what they've probably done is just use the same amount of orange, or orange oil or whatever they put into it. It's probably orange flavouring as well in there. Um... It does say flavouring in there. <laughs> um, so they probably just put exactly the same amount as they would have done for the milk chocolate one. But I think this one needed more. You know, whatever, you know, it needed a bit more of a, um, um, you know, a bit more of a delicate touch to, yeah, to make, to make this one more orangey than it, uh, than it is. Because it's just, because it's dark chocolate, it's just too strong. So they needed to, re you know, make the recipe, tailor the recipe, recipe for this uh, dark chocolate version. Um, which is a shame they've not done that. I don't think anyway. You know, it doesn't seem to me that they have anyway. So there we go. Four out of five, but might be less. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, so if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow me to subscribe to my videos. Um, follow me on Instagram as well. Twitter, Patreon as well if you can. And um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. And say. It's always great to hear from you, so please do if you can. <laughs> okay, take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya.